And it could go in bad places. The Philippines, uh, if a sailor or soldier or one of their members were killed, could invoke Article 5 of the Mutual Defense Treaty. Dahil sa deployment ng B-52 bomber aircraft at F-16 fighter jet ng U.S. Air Force, nagpapanik na ang China. Mukhang naduduwag na. Chinese top diplomat Mr. Liu nakikiusap na sa U.S. Itigil na raw ng Estados Unidos ang panguudyok ng gulo sa South China Sea. Wala raw karapatan ang U.S. na manghimasok dito. Pero ba't ba U.S. ang laging sirisisi ng China? Sino ba ang nagda-dangerous maneuver? At sino ba ang nagwa-water cannon? China Coast Guard, di ba? So, sino ang tunay na naghahanap ng gulo? Nanghihimasok lang naman ang Estados Unidos para protekta nito ang Pilipinas. Bakit China? Natatakot na ba kayo sa dami ng F-16 fighter jet na deploy dito sa aming bansa? Tiarga Sino ba naman kasi ang hindi matatakot? Balaan ka ba naman ng pinakamataas na opisyal ng US Navy, Commander and Admiral John Aquilino? At bilang paghahanda ng Indo-Pacific Command sa pag-atake ng China, ide-deploy sa Pilipinas ang air defense system ng Estados Unidos na kayang pabagsakin ang lahat ng klaseng missile tulad ng hypersonic missile, cruise missile at ballistic missile mula sa China. It is a 360 degree Uh, integrated air and missile defense capability that would protect our citizens and protect the forces that we need and that includes ballistic, hypersonic and cruise missile threats. We must go faster and I've articulated that needs to be in place. Kung inalerto nga ni Xi Jinping ang kanyang militar sa potential na military conflict at sea, naka-heightened alert naman ang lahat ng US Navy warship at US Air Force fighter jet. Talagang malaking gulo ito. Dito nag-iwan ng kataga si Admiral Aquilino. Huwag ka lang magkakamaling tangkain at takihin ng Pilipinas, China. Dahil pagsisisihan mo yan. Dito papanindigan raw ng US Indo-Pacific Command na unang re-responde na dedepensa nito ang Pilipinas sa anumang batang pag-atake mula sa China. Applies to the Philippines, you know, it's a... It's a really critical hotspot right now that that could end up in a bad place. The continued belligerent and aggressive and dangerous activity by the PRC against our allies in the Philippines is concerning to me. Uh, the Chinese have no legal claim to the area that they have articulated as their sovereign territory, uh, and the fact that they are now fire hosing and ramming Philippine ships attempting to support Philippine sailors on the Sierra Madre. So uh, I'm concerned where it could go. Uh, I would hope that the international community condemnation of those actions is enough to get the Chinese to back off. Uh, but if it doesn't, it could go in bad places. The Philippines, uh, if a sailor or soldier or one of their members were killed, could invoke Article 5 of the Mutual Defense Treaty. And that would put our policy decision makers in a place uh, that would require really tough choices. It would be my requirement and responsibility to provide the Secretary with options if that were to happen important alliances and partnerships are stronger than they have ever been. So if your question is where are our strong points, they are in the Republic of Korea, Japan, Philippines, Australia, India, and among other partners uh, in ASEAN. Hindi lang ato laban ng Pilipinas, kundi laban ng buong mundo para sa kapayapaang sinisira ng mga Chinese. Literal na malaking gera to pag nagkatakot. Kayo, handa ba kayo sa posibilidad ng digmaan? Ikomento sa baba ang yung salobit.